As you watch this segment, think about the forces involved in driving a vehicle up an incline. Go. These two teams, the Jet Jocks and the Pit Crew, scramble through the scrapyard searching for spare parts. Today's challenge is to build vehicles that will successfully climb a steep 122 meter incline with a 40% upward slope. Each team will attempt to make it to the top, but keeping their vehicles in motion up the steep hill will be difficult. The jet jocks and the pit crew search for items they believe will help their vehicle win. Hit it. The pit crew wants to make sure their monster machine has enough engine power and traction, or grip on the road, to make it to the finish line. Yeah, we're looking at a van over here, but it's, a, it's an emissions motor. They look for a large, powerful engine to use in their hill climber. Traction is essential for a successful climb because it helps drivers control their vehicles. But too much traction will slow a vehicle down. The jet jocks aren't as concerned with traction as they are with speed. They believe that success on the course lies in building a smaller, lighter vehicle. If their vehicle has less mass than the other teams, the jet jocks engine won't need as much force to propel their buggy up the incline. Both teams know that getting their vehicle up the hill will require a great deal of force. And in terms of speed, each vehicle will have to accelerate or increase its speed as much as possible as it approaches the hill. The teams have assembled at the starting line. Which monster machine will perform best? Try to help keep the rear end down right there in front. Each vehicle will attempt the climb by itself, so the starting line serves as a reference point or fixed point of comparison. Ready! Set! And they're off. The pit crew's buggy takes off quickly and crosses the starting line at a speed of 5.6 meters per second. The pit crew's vehicle increases its speed and accelerates up the hill. It reaches its top speed of 34.2 meters per second, just 10 seconds after the start. Come on, come on. After reaching its top speed, the pit crew's vehicle continues to move toward the finish. But the incline of the slope and the rough terrain slow the pit crew's vehicle. It decelerates or slows down and comes to a stop just 36 seconds after it started up the hill. It managed to travel 88 meters, a bit short of the finish line at the end of the 122 meter course. You can calculate the pit crew's acceleration, its change in speed over time. During the first 10 seconds of the race, with the information you have about their climb. If you subtract the starting speed of 5.6 meters per second from the maximum speed of 34.2 meters per second and divide that number by the 10 seconds it took to reach that final speed, you can determine the pit crew's average acceleration. The pit crew's acceleration during these 10 seconds of the race was 2.86 meters per second squared. This means that every second the pit crew's speed increased by an average of 2.86 meters per second. The horn sounds and it's the jet jock's turn. Their lightweight buggy starts off faster and crosses the starting line at a speed of 6.2 meters per second. And 15 seconds later, they hit their top speed, 36.3 meters per second. The Jet Jock's lightweight vehicle gets bounced around by the obstacles on the course. They sputter to a stop at the 88 meter mark as well. It's a tie. The Jet Jock's race is over 48 seconds after it started. What was their acceleration in the first 15 seconds of the race? Subtract their starting speed, 6.2 meters per second, from their maximum speed, 36.3 meters per second, and divide that amount by the time it took them to reach their top speed, 15 seconds. Their acceleration is 2.01 meters per second squared. The Jet Jock's vehicle had a lower acceleration than the pit crew's vehicle, but they reached the same distance achieved by the pit crew's climb. So who won? One way to decide the winner between the two monster machines is to calculate the average speed of the team's races. In this case, the distance of both teams is the same, 88 meters. The Jet Jocks took 48 seconds to reach that mark. 
Their average speed was 1.83 meters per second. The pit crew only took 36 seconds to reach the mark of 88 meters. Their average speed was 2.4 meters per second. The pit crew takes home the prize.